Good morning guys or good afternoon whether you're joining me from the present or the future welcome back to another future fight vanguard video uh, Today we're going to be continuing on with the phantasmal steed restoration. We're almost done with uh, these future fights uh, It's going to be this uh, video which is the dark regular video and then the next video after that is the Murakumo video And then we're going to be done with phantasmal steed restoration and moving on to the last set where we will be using the card fight ex game so I hope you guys enjo have enjoyed uh, me using the EX game for the second part of the videos of the games. I thought it was a little bit of an interesting twist um, to put on the video, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as such. If you guys are watching this video right now, I'm probably on my way to Japan or in Japan. So if you're in Japan for the World uh, Finals or Championships, be sure to say hello to me as I'll be competing there as well. And do not mind speaking to people who enjoy my channel. Um, or don't enjoy my channel, you know, whatever. Feedback is feedback. So um, be sure to come up to me, talk to me, say hello, say hi, give me a hug, whatever you, you want to do. And um, yeah, if you guys are watching from home, be sure to tune in to the live stream of the World Championships as well. I'm sure that will be just as amazing. Um, a little less amazing than being there, but just as amazing in general uh, but we're gonna get right into the video if you guys haven't already be sure to subscribe down below click the bell button so you don't have to miss a single video from me going forward be sure to check out all the cool stuff in the description as well um, such as my second YouTube channel let's plays animes which offers content uh, of variety with anime and video games our sponsor team vision they have a website down below in the description that has a bunch of um, strategies deck building tips uh, so on and so forth and also be sure to check out that join button next to the subscribe button if you guys want to support the channel a little bit further and want to get perks as well but with that being said let's get right into the deck list today so um, like I said today is uh, VBTO 6 um, dark irregular uh, so we have a standard list here um, that is still kind of sort of relevant because uh, the support that's come out up till now is not too too strong to outclass this um, I still see some dark irregular decks winning around my locals so um, yeah I think it's still strong enough to compete uh, so let's start going over the deck list so we have uh, for our grade threes we have nine grade threes Starting with our grade threes, we have four Demonic Deep Phantasm Emperor Brufus. Um, Brufus is our new grade three from the set. And what it does is it has two Vanguard abilities. First one is once per turn when it's on Vanguard Circle. Um, activation skill, so it's during your main phase. Anytime during your main phase, you can activate this by counterbossing one. Um, and then you can look at all of your deck, search up three cards with the same card name and reveal them. And if your soul has um, a card with the same card name as those cards, put a card from among them into your hand, and then put the rest into your soul, shuffle your deck. So this is really good because this deck plays off of having uh, certain uh, copies of threes of uh, stuff in your soul. So cards like Hope on Top, um, it has a 20 soul requirement. Uh, cards like Emblem Master get similar copies into your soul. Uh, Variant Hard Leg, which is like kind of like our finisher card, uh, requires that you have three or more cards with three or more of the same name um, in the soul and then also variants killer tail uh, works off of uh, same copies of name card and soul too so uh, brufus is a really good setup card for that it also is a very powerful grade three to go into as your first ride because on your first ride you can often get the second bil a bil a second ability off as well um, thanks to cards like alluring succubus um, so the second ability that we were talking about is uh, on Vanguard Circle when it attacks, if our soul has two or more grade three cards, we can choose one of our or our opponent's rear guards, preferably one of your opponents, but if your opponent has none, then yours. Um, and then basically you can choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. And uh, this card gets the power and critical of that unit until the end of the battle. Um, next up for our next grade three, we're gonna be running three no life king death anchor i run this uh card because i run this deck very similar to my premium dark regular deck where i try to do one big kill turn and they can't really survive because of all the like guard restrictions and stuff like that um so no life king death anchor has two vanguard abilities as well just like brufus and its first one is when placed on vanguard circle soul charge one this unit gets plus 2000 power for each card in your soul so you can easily have like 10 soul in this deck so that's easily plus 20k power makes this card enough of a threat on its own just swinging by itself being 32 um, and that's a good number on any uh, type of deck um, the second vanguard ability is actually a restand ability um, it says at the end of the battle that it attacked 
Uh, if you have 13 or more cards in your soul, you can counter bless one, put a card from your hand into soul, and put three rear guards into your soul. And then you get to ride a card from your soul as stand, and that unit gets plus one critical until the end of the turn. So, um, you can uh, go for the uh, the play where you go into the grade two that has uh, base power on Vanguard. I'm not really uh, sure what the name is right now, as of the second. Um, but uh, I think that play is a little weaker in standard as compared to premium because you're not always going to be guaranteed to have another three in your hand to ride. However, you can try to go that route. I would uh, suggest if you're going to take out a card for that, take out um, Icicle Resistant. Uh, great card to take out for that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so when you ride a card from your soul of Stan, uh, that unit gets plus one to critical. Um, and that's it. So. Usually in uh, premium, writing down a two prevents your opponent from striding, which is uh, the main reason that we do it. But in standard, it doesn't prevent your opponent from doing really strong things to you. So uh, you kind of almost don't want to do it, but it's kind of up to you if you guys want to run that card. I still think it's decent in this build. Um, then rounding out our grade three lineup, we have two Hope on Dump. This is actually my favorite card in the entire deck outside of uh, Hard Leg because you can use them in combination. And when you use it in combination, your opponent is most likely dead to right if they don't check a damage trigger. Um, so when you do this and they're at 5 damage, uh, it's pretty much like an instant kill, in my opinion, just because their guard restricts are so perfectly matched up together. So Hope on Dump skill says, when placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, if your soul has 20 or more cards until the end of the turn when your opponent will call, three, uh, will call cards from their hand to Guard Circle, he or she must call cards with the sum of their original shield being 20,000. So every time that they go to guard, they must drop exactly 20,000 shield, no more, no less, um, to be able to guard with this card at all. Then Variant Hard Leg says that you have to guard with three cards. So what that means is that the only ways to guard uh, Hope on Dump and Variant Leg uh, combo attacks is like you would have to guard like a 10k, 5k, 5k, um, of 5k 5k 10k or that's the same thing i just said um a 10k 10k zero um if you have a pg uh you can throw down two 10ks and a zero um it also says original shield so if you have cards that gain shield you can get around it by doing that kind of like emblem master stuff like that um but then you pump your columns with icicle resistant in the same kill turn uh just so that your opponent has to try to block all of these attacks and most likely they cannot provide you the correct amount of guard with the guard restriction. Uh, moving on to our grade twos, we have four Emblem Master. Uh, Emblem Master has a rear guard and guard circle ability and a vanguard rear guard ability. The rear guard guard circle ability is continuous and it says if your soul has seven or more cards, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield and plus 5,000 power. So useful on rear guard, but more useful on the guard circle. Um, and it, we're mainly running it for its secondary ability, which is vanguard rear guard when placed. Um, counter boss one. Search your deck for and drop zone for up to three cards in total with the same card names as one of your units and put them into your soul. If you search the deck, then shuffle your deck. So um, this opens up a really strong turn two combo that you can do. If you are uh, if you get the ideal ride, which is yellow bolt, and then you have a killer tail in your first turn, but you also have an emblem master in your hand, you can play this variant uh, killer tail the turn before. And the next turn, if your opponent doesn't kill it on their turn, you can just ride emblem master, uh, select variant tail, and then you have all three variant tails. Um, in your soul and then you have one on rear guard to start your soul charging really easy and really fast moving on to our next grade two we have four icicle resistant um we really only use this card in my opinion in the final turn of the game when we're trying to enter into our opponent we pump up our columns as much as possible and then uh yeah we just do the do and uh we try to finish them off its skill is uh, when retired from the guard circle during the battle that it intercepted, you can put this card into soul. So basically in the early game, you can rush with it, intercept it off, and then it goes into soul, which is where you want it uh, to be at most use. So uh, when it's in the soul, it has an ability that says bind this card uh, during the main phase while it's in the soul, and one of your units gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. So you really want to just pump your rear guards with this card skill in your final turn because your rear guards and DI are actually not that strong. Then we have four variants hard leg. I went over this card earlier when I was talking about hope on dump. Um, but just one more time, when placed on rear guard circle, if your soul has three or more cards with different card names and they have three or more cards with the same card name, um, then until the end of the turn, uh, when your opponent would guard from his or her hand, he or she must call three or more cards at the same time. So must guard with three cards. Um, basically, if you have a restand attack with no life king, 
um, on board and you have two rear guards that can hit, they have to have 12 cards in their hand to guard that, and those 12 cards have to be enough to block each of the attacks. Um, moving on to our grade ones, we have four Yellow Bolt. Yellow Bolt has a rear guard ability and a when rode upon ability, so its rear guard ability is when it attacks a grade two or greater unit, Soul Charge one, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. It can be useful in the early game for soul charging. Um, if you're not seeing your pieces or soul charging is not going fast enough for you, you can slap this down in the front row and it can soul charge uh, when you're attacking a grade two or greater unit. Also helps with those grade two rush turns because it can hit 13 over 10k base force um, or 9k base excel or protect decks. Uh, then its secondary ability is when rode upon, you may soul charge two. Um, if you soul charge one or more trigger units, you draw a card. So you're most likely going to soul charge a trigger unit out of uh, two cards. I've just learned that over a lot of games. So you're most likely going to draw a card, which will get you deep into your deck and add more soul to your pile as well. Um, then our last grade one in the deck, we have, or sorry, um, our second grade one in the deck, we have four Alluring Succubus. Um, its rear guard ability is activation. During the main phase, Counterblast 1 put this card into your soul. Look at the top seven cards of your deck, reveal up to two grade three cards from among them put one into your hand and put one into the soul and shuffle your deck. So this is very good because it uh, again builds your soul with its own soul charge but also soul charging a grade three. Also it helps you get off Rufus really well and it helps you with No Life King as well. Also getting Hope on Dolph into your hand. Uh, so you really just cho pick and choose which grade threes you want. If you only find one in the top seven it does go to your hand uh, so that is fire and it doesn't just have to go to your soul like some effects. Um, then our last uh, our last grade one in the deck, we have four uh, Variants Killer Tail. Variants Killer Tail has an activation rigor, uh, rigor ability skill, which has once per turn, rest this unit, then put a card from your damage zone or drop zone in the soul. And if you put a card from your damage zone, then you put the top card of your deck into the damage zone face down. And then if your soul has three or more Variants Killer Tail, counter charge one and stand this unit. So um, really, really good for building your soul. Obviously, really good for your counter charge uh, because it does not uh, require that you counter blast or anything like that. So it's just a free counter charge when you have it set up, which is very, very good because this deck can be kind of, sort of counter blast heavy sometimes. Uh, so just be careful about that. Then we have Devil in Shadow, our draw starter, just draws us a card. And then we have uh, four Dark Knight of Nightmare Land, two Blitz Ritter, two uh, Whirlooch Griffiter. Uh, four March Rabbit of Nightmare Land, and four Cursed Doctor for a total of eight crit, four draw, and four heal. Um, but with that being said, um, you guys have now seen the deck, so let's uh, switch over to the games here. All right, guys, so we're now gonna be in the game portion of the video. I'm gonna get my little Joy-Cons here so we can start playing. All right, we're already set up. Uh, with our friend Joe. So we're going to go ahead and begin the game. Um, I pick Rock. Waiting on our friend Joe to pick rock, paper, scissors. All right, so he picks paper. We draw, our hand's not too terrible, except for the fact that we don't have a grade two. If we had a grade two, this hand would actually be very good. We're gonna go ahead and put these variants, uh, Killer Tails back, uh, just to get a grade two. All right, so we're playing against Mega Colony, which is pretty interesting. Uh, our opponent rides uh, that one card, I forgot what it's called, <laughs> but uh, they draw a card after their starter, and uh, Joe ends his turn. So we draw, we actually drew into Yellow Bolt, that's really, really good. Um, so we draw, and then we are going to just attack for eight. Alright. Joe no guards. We check a heal trigger. Unfortunate because we do not have anything to heal, so wasted heals are always a tragedy. 
when you play card fight Vanguard. All right, so Joe also wasted the heal trigger, so we're not so sad anymore. All right, so we end our turn. Joe's go now. He rides a Machining Mantis, allowing him to counter boss one, check the top six cards for a grade three. And if he gets one, he can add it to his hand. Top six is a decent amount, so he probably got it. Yep, he got Cycloma Tooth. And he gets 6k, and he also has Hornet, which is a very good start as well. That card allows you on hit to search in the same way that Mantis does. Obviously, we no guard it because guarding 23 to 8 is insane. Uh, we do get a damage, or we don't get a damage trigger. It's very tar leg. He gets the prop Hornet, and hopefully he misses it, but he's probably not going to. Yeah, he got it. All right, so his grade one goes into soul. He ends his turn. Stand and draw. We draw into a yellow bolt. That's cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and ride Icicle Girl. Use yellow bolt skill. Soul charge two. And we did soul charge uh, one of them as a trigger, which was a crit. So we drew a card. And we have two yellow bolts on board. So we can go ahead and for one... Just play this Alerting Succubus here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use Alerting Succubus skill. Kind of boss one, put it to soul. Search top seven. Uh, we see a No Life King that we're going to grab. And nothing else is a grade three. So just grab that No Life King, shuffle our deck. And then we are going to. Oh no. I clicked too fast, guys. My bad. I meant to place that on the, like, right here. Um, but instead, I placed it behind Vanguard on accident. So uh, we're going to call the other oh, yellow bolt there. Hopefully, slow down a little bit so that we don't misclick anymore. Man, I wish that I could move this so bad because that would change things so drastically. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and go for our attack. 17. Drive check, Icicle Girl. And let's see if our uh, if Joe checks the damage trigger. Okay, I don't feel so sad about that. Just because um, the rest of my attacks for the turn wouldn't have hit anyways. However, it does matter because of the soul charge. So that's a thing. We would have been able to soul charge two instead of just one this turn. Uh, we also did soul charge at variance. Uh, Killer Tail, so that's good. Um, let's see what Joe chooses to ride. He chooses to ride Cycloma Tooth. He goes Imaginary Gift 1. He has 9 cards in his hand and I have 7. He goes ahead and plays um, this card. I don't know what it's called, but it counter boss 1, soul boss 1. Gets 10,000. Makes me mill a card and also lets him draw a card if I don't mill a trigger. So he's choosing to attack without skill. Um, I'm going to take that. We do not get a damage trigger, unfortunately. And then he attacks with Cycloma Tooth. He's choosing probably to use the skill here. Yep. Counter boss, Soul Blast. We mill a card. Uh, and we did. He, uh, we milled a trigger, so he does not get a crit. So that's actually a blessing. Um, however, he does check a crit, so he still gets a crit regardless. And he puts the power to his rear guard. All right, uh, second check is not a trigger. So we have ch damage check one, Brufus. Damage check two, critical trigger. Obviously all effects to my Vanguard. Uh, so he's gonna attack for 27. We're going to go ahead and guard for 39 because we do not want to be at five damage against this deck. Um, cause he has a type of garter stick that can block us from guarding with stuff effectively. So, uh, let's go ahead and ride No Life King. We have six soul, seven now, not too bad. Uh, using No Life King's skill, we're gonna soul charge one more, so eight. And No Life King will get 16,000 power. Let's see what we got in our soul. See what we're working with here. So, alright, so our soul's not too terrible. Um, however, we are going to play these two icicle things here. 
and then we're gonna keep the rest in our hand because there's no need to commit out like that going to battle phase we are going to attack his rear guard for nine see if he lets it go he does let it go indeed and then we're gonna attack Vanguard for 36 no guard drive check one crit trigger for the pull to Vanguard power to rear guard second card give me a soul charge card come on all right yellow bolt that is a soul charge card I gotta be more specific with what I asked for <laughs> All right, so Joe takes two damage. One, two. Man, the heal triggers have been on fire this game. Uh, thank goodness that one doesn't go off, though. So I believe that's four heals out of the deck, or three heals. Something like that. Unfortunately, we're, we weren't able to ride Brufus as well. That is a tragedy, because it would have been really good for the setup. We also haven't seen an Emblem Master this game, so this game is all kinds of weird. All right, so our opponent rides uh, that one card. He's gonna use Cyclone Tooth to make me discard a card first. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and discard our grade one. His Vanguard gets 10,000. Cyclone Tooth makes me mill a card. Um, I mill a hard leg. He uses Vanguard skill, hopefully not mill a zero. All right, we mill a grade one, so no blocking with grade ones, which we don't have anyways. So that's completely fine. All right, he calls a Cycloma Tooth. Oh, and he calls a uh, a Stealth Millipede. We actually did not see that coming. All right, he uses the skill Soul Boss One, makes me Mill card. He Soul Charges. Does not Soul Charge a Grade Three, so that's really good for us. Um, so he's attacking for 36 using the skill to discard a card from his hand and we are gonna have to discard a card from our hand let's go ahead and discard this crit uh, then we're gonna PG and drop this heal I guess yeah cuz we really would prefer to keep the other cards in our hand even though we're probably gonna have the PG there too uh, check one, check two, check three is a critical trigger, of course. Okay, so both columns are going to be critical live, assuming that uh, I mill a non trigger. Um. So I just thought about this, and this is actually kind of rough. Um, hopefully, the only way we get out of this really is if uh, if Joe makes us mill a trigger, because we can't afford to be hit with Psych uh, Psychoma 2's crit, because it's gonna get power regardless. So he's gonna go ahead and use skill. Please mill a trigger. Please mill a trigger. Okay, we milled a trigger. We did it, guys. No guard, but he does get Hornet skill off, which is unfortunate. We do get a draw trigger, that's lit too. Okay, we go we get Brufus, so. I wonder if we can make anything happen with that next turn. Alright, pretty much always hits the top six grade three skills. And he has nine cards in his hand. What can we do effectively here? Um if we ride, let's see, if we ride No Life King, we'll have 10 soul. We can go to 11 with Killer Tail. However, it's not going to be enough to use this skill, which is what we really need to do. So I guess we're going to ride Rufus. Imagine we get Protect. Um, do we have two grade threes in our soul? We do not have two good grade threes in our. Oh yeah, we do. We do. We have Hope on Domp and uh, No Life King. So what do we want to add to hand? That is the question. Uh, probably just Killer Tail, right? Yeah, that seems like 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Do we have three of... Uh, there's no way we have three copies of Stuff and Soul. I'm insane. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna use Brufus skill. To get... Uh, the variant hard legs, I guess? Oh, never mind. We would only be able to grab one of those. So... Do we have a hard leg in our soul? This game is so awkward and weird that, like, I don't know our best option, actually. So it seems like we still have a decent amount of threes in soul. And we can do a learning succubus by getting two of those, so. Let's thin out our deck. Put one in soul. Go ahead and call a learning succubus. Uh, learning succubus skill. Top seven. Get okay, Brufus. All right. Well, at least we broke even from that. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Killer Tail to put Brufus in the soul. The card that we put in our damage is a draw trigger. That's unfortunate. I think we're gonna lose this game regardless, uh, cause this game has been weird and really crappy for us. But uh, let's go ahead and retire Stealth Millipede. Attack for 27, two crit. Um, of course, CPGs. Hopefully we can check a heal or something like that. That would help out a lot. Uh, no trigger. That's not going to help us. Alright, heal trigger. That's actually what we wanted. So, we heal off the damage. Uh, we give the power to our rear guard. And then we are going to attack for 19 to Vanguard. Alright, he no guards the attack. Damage checks a crit. That's perfect for us. More crits out of the deck. And we end our turn. Alright, so he's gonna ride his grade 3 that makes his mill one. Hopefully, we can do some kind of kill turn next turn with no life. That's the ideal situation. Uh, so we mill a normal unit. Um, hopefully the second skill doesn't make us mill a trigger. Alright, we mill a grade 2. That's actually great. We don't care about those emblem masters, so thank goodness they're gone. Alright, so... We will actually... I believe be able to block this turn and get out alive. As long as uh, Joe doesn't check super fire, we might be able to perform a kill turn off of it. Um, so he's going to make us discard a card. Let's go ahead and discard this too. Um, I think if he checks a crit either way, I'm dead. So I'm going to no guard this, hoping that he won't get a crit. One... Uh, too critical. I think he wants 12 crit or something like that. I feel like I've seen a lot of crits this game. Haven't been counting, but... Yeah, the only way we got out of that is, uh... If there was no critical there, unfortunately. I don't even know if we can still heal anymore. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we lost that game. Our hand was, uh... Not even close to ideal, and uh, because of all the mill, because of all the milling, it really messed us up. Um, key pieces that normally would go to our hand or something like that, like got milled off. So it just really wasn't wasn't overall a great game. But uh, yeah, we try we did try our best to uh, try to remedy that game. It just didn't work out that way. We also really needed to ride Rufus first because riding no life and not being able to do anything with it on first ride was pretty impactful. Um, so we're going first this time. 
Uh, we have a decent hand. If we could get a variance uh, killer tail, that would be great. Okay. We literally got a worse hand than what we put back. Um, we draw for turn, and it's another trigger. So we need a grade three. Ironically, we run nine of them. Uh, we also run a card that searches grade threes, and we don't have that card either. Maybe we're just unlucky with DI. I tried to use Tetsu, tried to use their favorite character, their Vanguard. They still not treating me right. See, Joe's playing us with Protect Clans, which is kind of interesting slash funny. Also interesting slash funny because he didn't deal me a damage, but I kind of wanted him to because I really wanted to be able to use Emblem Master. But um, I guess we're gonna just gonna ride this two instead. Uh, use the yellow bolt, hopefully Soul Charger trigger, trigger and draw a card. Okay, we do draw a card, um, and we're gonna go ahead and play this yellow bolt here. We do get a critical trigger, that's pretty good. Fruits of Vanguard, power to rear guard. Damage check one, critical trigger. Power to Vanguard. Oh my god. Alright, well. We can't hit, but uh, that's two criticals out of his deck, so I guess we'll take that somewhat. And yep, yeah, we'll pass turn. Uh, he rides Rune Shade. Paul's Greed Shade. Skill discard a card. Mill two, and he gets the heal to his hand. Calls another Rune Shade, so he actually has a good grade two turn. He's calling all kinds of stuff. All right, so he's getting his mill started a little bit. Tech of the Rune Shade milling two cards. He did not mill any triggers, so that's amazing for him. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and block with a crit. Um, he attacks for 17. We're going to no guard that, because that is too big. Uh, he does get a critical trigger. I was literally just about to say that he damage checked two and milled one, so hopefully he wouldn't get one, but, you know, that is our luck with this deck, apparently. Hopefully one of these is not a grade three. Okay, we're good on that front so far. And then we get attacked for 19. We are going to go ahead and block that for 24. We are going to have to GSS unless we top deck a grade three here. Hopefully we top deck Brufus. Nope. Uh, so we G assist. Um, and we do get Brufus at least. So that's uh that's that's pretty good. We're gonna get rid of this PG because we're a protect clan. We can create PGs. Uh go ahead and ride Brufus. Uh get protect. And then what we are actually going to do is call this Emblem Master, uh, use Emblem Master's skill to target Brufus, and we're just going to put three Brufus in the soul. And then we are also going to use Brufus, but on what? Um... I guess we could always use Brufus on Yellow Bolt. I think we have two in the deck. There's one Yellow Bolt. There's two Yellow Bolt. Cool. Uh, one Yellow Bolt is going to hand, one's going to soul. And then one becomes my booster. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and attack. 
So we attack with Yellow Bolt, Soul Charge 1. It's 5k. Part that we Soul Charge is a crit, unfortunately. He does intercept to block us. Uh, we use Rufus Bill. Retire his Ruin Shade. Hopefully this is a straight up no guard. All right. Well, I'm actually happy about that as well because we got two cards out of his hand. So, two really big cards out of his hand, not to mention. And we also still checked a critical, so most likely he's still going to eat two damage this turn. So we attack for 32. He literally would need 25k shield to block this. Okay, we're fine with that too. He wants to stay at 2 damage, but he's just blocking with a lot. I hope that last card in his hand is a grade 3. Because if not, it is going to be tragic. Alright, so he does ride Baskert. That's better than what we thought he was going to ride. This uh, limits his options very heavily. Uses Baskert skill, counter boss one, soul boss one, probably gonna call the ghost ship. That's what I would do at least. Yep, he does call the ghost ship. Baskert gets 10k. Alright, he swings at Vanguard with Baskert. We're gonna no guard. Because we do need a little bit of damage. Alright, he drive checks Gokaitis. That's cool. And ghost ship, which he can't guard with from hand. So that's actually fire for us. Um, going to this next turn knowing that he checked that all right we checked no triggers as well didn't really need to because we are going to block this with 27 to his 24 and then he is going to draw a card and retire his grade two all right so we're gonna go for no life king here Ride No Life King, protect one. Soul Charge with No Life. It's 24k. The card that we Soul Charge was a variance. All right, so let's try to figure out how we can put variants online this turn. So for our grade threes, we have uh, three Brufus in there. Seems like we have two of the grade two, and we have two Yellow Bolt. So maybe we'll have to wait till next turn to make it live. But what we can do right now is play Killer Tail. Use Killer Tail skill. Um, and put in the grade two. That way after this No Life King turn, we will be able to go live uh, with the variant hard leg. And we're gonna attack. Soul Charge, get 5k, we Soul Charge the No Life King, that's actually perfect because that's what we want to go into. Um, let's go ahead and we don't have 4 variant, so we're just going to swing a Vanguard. No Guard, check 1 Hard Leg. Check two heal trigger, that's amazing. Heal one damage, power to emblem master. Damage check one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use no life king skill. Let's put, uh, I really don't wanna get rid of that hard leg. We're gonna put the heal in the soul. And these three in the soul. He does have a protect, so he's probably gonna protect our second no life king, but we were prepared for that anyways, so that's a thing. Soul charge one, he gets 38k power and a crit. Yep, PGs, just like we thought, probably gonna drop the ghost ship. Yep. Check one, hopefully check two is a crit. Alright, 
no crit. <laughs> no crit, no problem, as I like to say. And then we attack for 24. He does let that hit. Okay, cool. Nice, no trigger. So as long as he doesn't heal next turn, I think we'll be able to kill him. Uh, we're definitely going to survive because we have more than enough PGs in hand. Unless he somehow has violence for Andrew. But I don't think he has the cards to drop to make it lethal to me. Kokaida's skill, kind of us one. And I believe he's going to call three. Yeah, because he has one grade three in his hole. So let's see what Joe decides to do here. Alright, so our opponent calls Greed Shade, Ghost Ship, and uh, Rough Seas Banshee, or not Rough Seas, uh, whatever this Banshee is that allows him to draw a card. So it seems like he's going for an advantage to try to like stock up for guarding. And let's see what he decides to add from hand. He decides to add a heal. Alright, so he goes into battle phase. Um, attacks me for 24. Uh, we are going to let that hit, indeed. Damage tag, hope on Domp. No, we kind of wanted that, but that's okay. Alright, Joe goes up to 5 cards in hand. He's about to go up to 7. PG. Um, we're gonna get rid of this hard legs because we don't need that one. Drive check one, Franger. Nice. Drive check two, Kokaitis. Nice. We can probably definitely kill him next turn, assuming that he doesn't hit a damage trigger. And then he attacks us for 26. No guard. Damage check draw trigger. We draw Succubus. Ooh, it's very possible that we could uh, Succubus into Hope on Domp, making for our ultimate kill turn. So let's go ahead and attempt to call final turn. Uh, see what we got going on here. So first, we're going to. Um, call Emblem Master, no Emblem Master skill. Uh, because we have three Brufus, three of the grade two, and three Yellow Bolt, we can uh, use Hard Leg. So we're going to call Hard Leg here, activate the skill, and then we are going to... Call Luring Succubus, use the skill, put in the soul, top seven, yes, we got the hope on Domp, just as expected, sick, and then we're gonna call that hope on Domp, uh, behind Vanguard Circle, it doesn't matter, hope on Domp skill is active, and then... Just to make sure that he can't get out of this with the damage trigger. Shit. Oh my gosh, I clicked battle phase, but I meant to click soul so I could use icicle. Guys, when you're playing this game, don't be bad like me. The buttons are so confusing sometimes. Um, Alright, at least our main combo is not messed up. It's just that a damage trigger could really mess us up right here. But hopefully... Hopefully that doesn't mess us up too bad. 12 to Vanguard. He probably won't be able to guard it still, just because of the double guard restriction of Hope on Domp and uh, 
an old girl. And also that, like, his intercept just now wouldn't have mattered if I would have used Icicle because I was going to put 10k on my front row. But, you know, I'm bad. It's like the second game in a row that I've legit messed up by a button press. So, Joe was thinking, I guess. I think this is all about him having to guard with exactly 20k shield and three cards because he might not have the combination to do so. I know that he has some, some grade threes in his hand, so he can drop like heal trigger grade three, grade three. Um, but beyond that, I don't know what he has in his hand to make that. Oh, so he just chooses to use that card that blocks from drop zone. Uh, we do check a critical trigger, so we are going to put it to Emblem Master, making the critical live. And then we are going to Yeah, I'm gonna be so sad if this turn doesn't work just because um, Literally just because I messed up with the button click uh, Right no life Soul charge plus 50, 62 to crit. Like I said, he still might die, so it's not over till it's over, because this is still a very hard turn to block, especially with set just seven cards in his hand. I know that those cards are probably not optimal for guarding variants hard lug and, uh, and hope on Donk combo. Also, surviving until next turn, I have more than enough to survive and then use a hard leg again. So, that's a thing as well. So, I think either way we win. But, you know, it could have been a stronger, more potent turn, so to speak. Okay, so our opponent guards with 20k exactly. Assuming he's going to use the PG skill to drop. And then that last... Uh, Three cards is probably enough to make 20k exactly, which means that he's not going to be able to survive because he needs more than 20k to block Emblem Master. Yep, I think he dies right here. Yeah, not even think he dies. He has to die. Oh, he doesn't heal. Okay, I got kind of scared for a second. I'm at five damage. Oh, y'all, I got scared. <laughs> oh, man, I was shook it. These freaking buttons, bruh. You have to be really careful when you play a soul deck, like any deck that you need to look at soul um, on area because, ooh, child, let me tell you. It's real hard to be like, oh, yeah, L1 is soul. Or pretty much L on the switch is soul, and then like other buttons are switch phase button. That's why I wish they released this game in English, because you know I would definitely know the buttons then, but what can you do? Japan hates us. I'm just kidding. I'm about to go to Japan. They don't hate us, so you know. Don't take that out of me. Oh my gosh, we got a fire hand, so we're just gonna keep our hand. And we're playing against D Police. Um, unfortunately, we're not going first. That's the only downside. But besides that, this hand is uh, absolute flames. All right, so he uses the PG draw discard. He discards a crit. Very interesting. So we know one crit is down out of the Oh my gosh, this hand is absolutely broken now that we top decked a uh, yellow bolt. It was broken before, but oh my gosh. So good. You guys will probably be able to see the max potential of the deck now. So, let's not mess up with button clicks. Um, so, we're just going to call these. Go ahead and attack for 14. Uh, 
guards. We check a no life king. All right. Pass turn to him. He draws. Rides platinum ace. Calls a rear guard. Attacks us for nine. Um, we are going to block that. And then attacks us for 15. We're going to take that. Yep, I knew he was going to get a critical trigger. Because if that was in the reverse order, we wouldn't have been able to block it. So, good thing that we did that. Critical trigger. Power to Vanguard. Alright, so we lit, we flames. It is unfortunate that we uh, drew a killer tail there, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to use um, Emblem Master first. Select Killer Tail, put two of them into the soul, and then we're going to use Yellow Bolt, Soul Charge 2, and we did draw a card because we Soul Charged, hopefully not two triggers, okay, just one trigger, cool. Um, uh, as far as what we're going to do here, let's make sure we use up our Counter Blast first, so we're going to call this... Uh, and call Alluring Succubus, Alluring Succubus skill. Uh, we get Hope on Domp. Alright, so we're just getting Hope on Domp. That's not too terrible. And then we are going to use Killer Tail skill. Put a Luring Succubus into the soul. New card into damage. That is Hope on Dop. Then we're going to call over this Killer Tail. And use Killer Tail skill again. To get that second Killer Tail into soul. Alright, and I think we're pretty set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're at a good place right now. We're at a good spot. So let's attack his rearguard for 9. Check critical trigger set. All right, attack for nineteen. Alright, he rides great there, you sure? Let's say, Rido! Greto Daigosh! That's like the coolest thing in this game, I swear. Alright, so he gets Force 1, uses the skill on Ride to give itself 10k. Ooh, he has a Platinum Ace and a Die Dragon. That's pretty sick. Oh, and he has a Die Aligner. That's crazy. He's really trying to kill me right now, y'all. While I'm on grade two, why are you trying to hurt me like this? Why are you trying to hurt me for no reason? I didn't even do nothing. All right, no guard. Check one. All right, his deck's not trying to hurt me. He's trying to hurt me. Heard. Man, look at that typhoon. Justice Sword! I'm mad they added the great that you. Ooh, and we. Oh my god, we got Brufus. Yes! Yes! Rubs hands together. Alright, attacks for two crit. 28. We're just gonna go ahead and guard that. Because F that. We don't want to take that. And we're fine with going to 4 damage, so we'll, we'll take that one. 
Alright, sick. Stand and draw. We're going to go into Brufus. Protect one. Just to get some pressure on him. Um, and what card do we want? So it seems like we have. Seems like the card that we want is Emblem Master. Emblem Master, where are you at? One, two, three, boom. Two to soul. And we're gonna go ahead and use this killer tail. Um put the grade two in there. Counter charge, no life king, cool. Call out Emerald Master, use a skill. Probably on. Do we have two great threes in our soul? Nope, we don't, so on Brufus. Three Brufus in there. Alright, we set up for greatness, boys and girls. And there hasn't been a single button misclick yet. I'm literally not trying to curse myself, guys. I promise. Alright, so he blocks with the 10k. We attack with Rufus. Use Rufus skill to retire a card. Uh, get rid of that pesky card that gains a crit. 28 to Vanguard. Drive check 1. Drive check two, heal trigger, that's amazing. However, he's probably gonna hit a damage check, so we're probably not gonna be able to hit his vanguard. But he does have a rear guard, so that's cool too. Alright, damage one. And, oh wow, he didn't hit a damage trigger. That means we are in the clear to attack Vanguard. And he takes it. Hmm, that's saucy. We like that, we like that. We might be able to kill him next turn, low key. If uh, everything goes our way. He's probably gonna ride this die liner that he got. Yep. Which means that he's not gonna be able to use Great Dayusha. So we are in the clear clear for one turn. Top seven. Ooh, he gets a Sobard. Okay, maybe not so much in the clear. We'll still live, but that is dangerous. Very dangerous. All right, so we're gonna PG. Dropping Yellow Bolt. Drive check one. Try to check two critical trigger. Probably gonna put all effects on Sobard. Oh, okay. He split the critical up. Interesting. So either way, he wants me to just eat two damage. I'm fine with that. I need damage for No Life King. So he attacks us for 26, two crit. No guard. Critical trigger. Power to Vanguard. And damage check yellow bolt. Cool. Um, so how many of the grade 2 do we have in our soul? I'm trying to make sure. I'm like literally been so busy on making sure hard legs is good. We don't even ha have hard legs. But what we can do is intercept making 17, ride 18, soul charge 19. Oh, we can use hope on Dom next turn. Yes, let's do that. Alright, so we're going to guard with this heal. We're also going to intercept. Alright, so skill of the grade 2 goes to soul. Sick. Oh my god, we drew variant hard leg. <laughs> that's, bad. that's so broken. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. Guys, that triggered my cold. That, that's how broken that draw was. 
Okay, so we have the requirements. Yeah, we have the requirements for both, so let's go ahead and hit him with that final turn. Ride, no life. No life king skill, soul charge. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Killer Tail. Um, put Hard Leg in the soul. Or sorry, I put, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Put uh, Hope on Dot into soul. And then we're going to call Hope on Dot. Skill is active, put you a 20 card in soul. And then call Variant Hard Leg. Skill is also active. Now this time we're not gonna mess up. We're pressing R instead of ZR so that we can use the freaking grade two abilities. Alright. It's more important in this scenario because we are playing against force. So we do want to be able to hit. Alright, uh, let's do one more. On Emblem Master. And then I don't think we have any more of the grade two. Alright, so let's proceed with our so card so called final turn. So attack for twenty two. No guard. Damage check, no trigger, that's amazing. Go ahead and attack for 56. No guard. Check one. Check two. No damage. Or no drive triggers. He does get a critical trigger. So now there's suddenly a way to survive uh, for him. I doubt that he is going to, but... The way is there. Do we have a no left king on our soul? Actually, yeah, we need to go into no left king. So, no left king, and then three rear guards. And then we are going to go into No Life King. No Life King skill, Soul Charge 1, plus 46, 58 to Vanguard 2 crit. And if he no guards that, that will seal the game. Ha ha ha. Oh no, he guarded exactly 20k shield and PG. Oh no, so if we don't check a trigger, he can actually intercept. Ah, we thin too much for that. Get that out of here, boy. Oh, wait. No, I clicked Vanguard. Guys, I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. All I had to do was click Rearguard. What's wrong with me? Oh, my gosh. Guys, I'm so stupid. I mean, like, I'm not gonna die, but I'm so stupid. Wow, I'm so, so dumb. Holy sh... That miss... I literally was just saying how we didn't have a misclick in this game. Alright, well, you guys know how that game is supposed to go. Jesus. Ah, PG this. Some nonsense, that's what this is. Try check one. Alright, check the critical trigger. We don't care. Oh wow. That just totally blew me. That's exactly what I get. Absolutely, positively what I get. Wish I could call final turn twice. 
Okay, we drew a very entire leg. I mean, the game's definitely over, but this sucks. Yep, hard legs is active. Call your level. Call Larry Succubus. Go ahead and attack. 17. No guard. Alright. We won the game. Holy crap, that misclick. If that was another deck, I would have misclicked into a loss, I swear. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like down below. Comment and subscribe uh, so they don't have to miss any content going forward. Also, be sure to check out all the cool stuff in the description below I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And be sure to check out that join button if you guys want to support the channel more. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.